question that is very personal to me and uh, it affects the future of Oromia and I think it affects the future of Ethiopia. One of the things that happened under this government is the expansion of education. Where I grew up there was no, there was no school. Now they're talking about opening a high school in a village where I, I was born and raised. Related to that, there are now 30 plus universities in that country. More and more children, Oromo and others, are going to school, learning, and graduating. Is the quality of education keeping up with the quantity of the universities or the educational institutions that is being built? Um, education quality is uh, in danger. Um, at the elementary schools, uh, every village, we managed to keep the education quality by, uh, by, um, uh, by training thousands and thousands of teachers. It's easier once you have a, a good curriculum and good textbooks and, and, and uh, training the teachers. It's easier to keep the quality in the elementary schools, even though there are challenges of the classrooms and the size of the classes, and th there are always challenges. The intention was to keep 50 students per teacher per class and below. Uh, as, as far as I was, uh, as long as I was there, this 50 mark was not achieved in Oromia, for sure, I know. So even in the elementary and the high schools, this challenge is still there. So that jeopardizes the quality of education. Number two, the universities are expanding. The universities are expanding for political purposes because we are bringing universities to the village. I am proud that I, I, I bring university to certain provincial areas, uh, to former garrisons uh, that were uh, suppressing people. Now when university coming, it's good, it's okay. It creates good atmosphere among the people. But you are not, uh, parallelly, you are not supporting by providing good books uh, good laboratory equipment, good teachers, and also good payment to the professors, that is not, that doesn't exist. All the time, we are, I was leading at the Sababa University Board and Adama University Board for two years, uh, the last of my, uh, my presence there. We are always overwhelmed by the number of students that we are told to accept while the capacity of the universities are very, very minimal. So the quality of education in the universities are really, really terrible. So I think uh, this policy is now, what, it is creating uh, thousands of jobless young students uh, going back to the rural village. They don't have job and people are you know, mocking. What is the purpose of uh, passing 16 years uh, in education without getting any job. And so they leave the country and they die in the seas, they die in the Sahara Desert. <laughs> <laughs>